I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope overview for the week of March the 16th. Wow, what a week we have coming up. What a month this is. And okay, let's go through it just a bit by bit. And then at the end of this, I'll then do the uh, individual uh, horoscopes and have a look at a snapshot of what's happening for each sign. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to have a look at the overall week because there's a lot of activity going on now. And if if you haven't been into have a listen or a, a, a listen and a read of um, my overview, which is on my New York Daily News pages forward slash uh, uh, dot um, horoscope, and I have an overview of where uh, what's happening with all the planets on there, and also there's a, a audio a video on it as well on my YouTube channel. So. All right, so first off, on the 17th, so early in the week, Venus is going to make a move into the sign or one of the signs that she um, rules, which is Taurus. So this is good for stability, good for money. Um, you want to be careful that more doesn't go out than comes in because let's not forget, Venus is the temptress. So, you know, even though she's good to a attract uh, financial situations, she can also tempt you to spend it faster than you get it. You want to be a little bit careful with love, with um, being possessive. So everybody needs a little bit of independence, some signs more than others, and you can go and have a look at your compatibility. I have compatibility uh, um, charts on all of the sites, on the Mistress of Astrology, the Daily News, and also uh, harbersbazaar.com. So you can, you know, check out how compatible you are with the other signs through there. They're all a little bit different, but of course they'll all say basically the same thing. Um, now, moving on, uh, also on the 16th, we have uh, communication planet Mercury in a square, which is a traditionally a um, confronting aspect, a little bit more challenging, they'd say, depending on the two planets that are in the square. In this case, it's Mercury and Saturn. So this can give you like pretty practical thinking. If you can get down and have a look at what's got to be done, if you've got a situation, it allows you really to get down and have a look at the details and just work out step by step methodically what you know needs to be done. Now, Saturn is in the sign of Sagittarius, so that's going to give you also a bit more of a broader look, which is nice. So that energy um, with Saturn in Sagittarius is really a little bit conflicting in some way because Sagittarius is like a visionary and uh, Saturn likes to hold back and uh, a little bit and be more cautious. But if you put them together, then if you can work both of those energies together, then I think it's pretty good. Um, now, um, also around this time, the 17th, we've got the, the seventh, uh, so seven, <laughs> the last of the Uranus-Pluto squares. Now, you know, when I said before, a square is challenging depending on the, on the planets. If it's a square between Jupiter and Venus, well, not so challenging. If it's a square between Pluto and Uranus, yeah. Um, this is like a break point and a breakthrough point. Now, this, as I said, is the seventh final square for a number of years. Um, during this time, it's been over. It started three years ago and, uh, and you know, on the 17th of March 2015 is the last one. So it's like things can really come to a head right now during this month. It really is a, a game changer month in many ways. And as I said, with these two together, uh, particularly as Uranus is in Mars, which is, you know, rash and impulsive, and you want to just get out there and get things done. Pluto is in um, Capricorn, so it can break things down, but then Capricorn breaks it up. So as I said, it really is like a break point coming to things coming to a head which allows you to break through so you know that old saying no pain no gain don't you love those sayings they're annoying but you know 
there's something in them as well. All right, so you've got to sort of think about take a deep breath and just keep moving through one day at a time, one step at a time. Now, shortly after that, we have Mercury, which communication planet conjunct right at the same conjoint and the same degree with Neptune. This is both in the sign of Pisces. So this gives you a very creative, imaginative, much lighter energy. So it's almost like simultaneously when we're getting that sort of break point, then you know, it's like a new day comes and you can start to feel, I think everything feels better after a good night's sleep, don't you? And um, it's so important. It's like that whole, that other turn that says, well, sleep on it for a day. And really, I, I find once you do that, you can wake up in the morning and feel refreshed. And with this aspect between Mercury and Neptune, it really just gives you a different attitude where you can all of a sudden see some solutions and a way out of the maze, okay? Uh, now, shortly followed from that, we've got an eclipse coming up, okay? So on the 20th, we've got, it's a total solar eclipse. It's a very powerful eclipse. It's also a super moon. And right after that, we have the equinox. So the, equip, the eclipse is in the sign of Pisces, but it's right on 29 degrees, so it's right there just on the cusp of Pisces and, and Aries. So um, a new moon is all about new beginnings anyway. It's like the start of the, of, the, of the new moon and the new phase of the moon. In this sense, it's a total eclipse, so it has a, a whole more punch of energy. It's a super moon, and then hours later, the moon is then going to move into the sign of Aries, and that's the start of our equinox, okay? Uh, here in America, it's our spring equinox. So it's really <clears throat> when we look back and we what's happening more at the start of the week, particularly with the Uranus-Pluto, you know, things coming to a break point, and then we've got that nice creativity and energy with um, um, Neptune and Mercury, which gives us like some solutions. Then we have this nice new start. Okay, so um, you know what happens at the start of the week? As I said, take a big breath, just keep moving through it. It is going to sort out, and things are going to get better. So like you are going to get over the hump of whatever's happening. There's more to come, let's say. There's things happening behind the scene. It's like the puppets are holding the strings and there's more There's more to come. So try to get out of your own way somewhat, which is not easy to do, particularly if you're, you know, a Capricorn like I am. We like to, you know, have everything controlled. I was just telling my girlfriend last night, you know, Capricorns like to try to control everything around them so they can have more control in their own life so um, it's not that we want to be controlling as such we're just trying to keep our own life together um, so this is you know one point where we want to try and just step aside be more of a witness to what's going on knowing that things are going to fall into place one way or another now, um, following that, right at the end of the weekend, we have Mercury in a sextile to a Pluto. So this is a great time for self-analysis. Let's not forget Pluto is a planet of transformation. So, um, and it's in, that, it's in the sign of Capricorn, very good for analysis. And, um, Merc and Mercury is in the sign of... Pisces, so it's very good for going in. So Capricorn is more logical and Pisces is more intuitive. So put these two together with um, Mercury, Pisces, and Pluto, Capricorn. It's an excellent time for self analysis. And wow, what a great, what, you know, I mean, nothing is by chance, is it really? I mean, that's what we read. I mean, you've got to sort of wonder. I mean, when you look at how things sort of progress, it's like, isn't that a perfect time to have um, that aspect? It really allows you to take a step back, go within, and think things through. Uh, so, all in all, it's a it's it's a transformational week, and um, 
let's see what happens. I hope something fabulous happens for each and every one of us. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I am making some changes on the Mistress of Astrology site uh, right now as well. I am going to be doing a weekly uh, or monthly rather to start with anyway newsletter and that's going to go up on the site for, in the next um, um, hopefully over the weekend. So, you know, go in and have a look at that. That'll be on the main page. And I have uh, made some changes in all the services. I'm doing coaching programs now too, as there's a demand for that. So, um, you know, go and have a, have a little read of that too. All right, love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to go and, and check out the, the weekly and the monthly videos too. Bye for now.